Rob, how did this come about? Uh, the good people at TBT made it all happen. Uh, you know, I played in the TBT a couple times. Uh, you know, they're, they're constantly trying to grow the brand and in the event expand it. So uh, they were just, you know, in my ear about a U of H alumni team and uh, finally got it got it together. So here we are. So how did you, did you construct it? Did you put together the team? I mean, uh, I was a, the initial contact point, but it's, uh, you know, combination of, of a lot of people who have, uh, you know, University of Houston basketball interests at heart. So I wouldn't say, you know, just solely me, but, you know, they, they was a, a person that uh, contact point to, to tap in everyone else and, and get everyone on board. So you're in the room, you know, you're talking to guys. How do you put together a, a UAC? What, well, what you I mean, it? first, you know, you, you have a lot of people that come to mind, but uh, first and foremost, what up? First and foremost, uh, people have to be available. You know, a lot of guys play overseas, salon, grind, in the summertime, those days are precious. And, uh, everyone is, you know, family time, vacation, resting their body, training, you know, in the routine. So, first and foremost, you gotta have guys who are available, who wanna play. Um, some people deal with injuries, some guys, Corey, Todd Day, Kyler playing in Canada, um, you know, Don Labrum, Josh Crosby just wanted to take some time, which, you know, is really understandable. So, um, Thankfully, we got a couple guys, you know, Tulane, uh, Josh Jones from BYU, and uh, where else? Uh, Andre Jones with the Richards. So they're guys who are in Houston, New Orleans, based not too far away, and um, yeah, we're kind of familiar playing with and against. And uh, you know, we ask them when they step in. And, you know, shout out to them for, for being quality players to, to help us out. What's the sound that comes with this program? This is long overdue. This is the guys down there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, TBT, you know, they they were uh, trying to, to make it happen like maybe three years ago or so. So uh, we're a little late to the party, but well, we're here now. You got to be here. It's kind of the early days when Kelvin Sanford was throwing this into what it is now. Just looking back from your time here, what do you remember most? Say that again? Just looking back at your time here and kind of seeing that change again, what do you remember most? What I remember most from my time? Oh man, I mean, uh, and nothing specifically sticks out. Uh, I know that, you know, things haven't changed with how they uh, work around here and uh, the culture that has helped build the, build the place. So, um, Coach Sampson did mention uh, a lot of foreshadowing, you know, in early recruitment with me and stuff, and it's uh, kind of amazing to see it all, you know, pan out and, and become reality for, for uh, being a top ten program in the country year in year out. So, great, great time to be an alumni. Rob, describe the rules for TBT. Pretty much a uh, normal basketball game until the end. Uh, you play three quarters. Don't quote me on this exactly. At the end, the first dead ball under eight minutes. I believe it's uh, becomes a target score game. So uh, it's an exciting and fun event, good summer basketball, and then it always ends on a made basket. So uh, not your typical basketball game, the ends at the clock, and uh, got a nice little flair to it. Very fun event, and uh, you know, we're looking forward to it. Trying to make some people on the shots to, to advance ourselves. The Rashida Center has had some sellout crowds over the past few years. You're trying to participate in that. Uh -huh. How much are you looking forward to getting that atmosphere? Oh uh, man, uh, if we have a sellout crowd, you know, that would be amazing. Uh, but uh, you know, whatever whatever type of atmosphere it might be, I'm just looking forward to you know playing for, for the Forever Cougs and uh, you know playing in Fertitta Center. When I was here, they were building it. We we're playing at TSU, so it'll be uh, exciting whether it's empty or whether it's full. A lot, a lot of things. Um, I think, you know, just being patient, being honest, being true with yourself, uh, you know, looking in the mirror and um, addressing, you know, the, the concerns and trying to be better day by day. Nothing's easy, you know, nothing works. Accomplishment comes easy. And, uh, you know, it's better days ahead. Always stick it out, always grind it out. And, uh, you know, just keep going, keep fighting. As a hooper, it's not uncommon to play for some bread. How much do you guys look forward to our opportunity to play for that, that pot of money? At the yeah, you know, that's uh, the biggest draw of all. You know, people see that one million, they hear one million, not knowing, you know, <laughs> how hard it is. But uh, rightfully so, a million dollars will get anybody a little, a little excited. Um, you know, we're, we're excited. It's nothing new, you know, to play for money, not in this type of way for a million dollar tournament. But, uh, you know, a lot of guys here, you know, are professional and uh, playing at a high level. So, I'm looking forward to it. Wanna, one game at a time, try, try to win, you know, build a little momentum and just have fun more than anything. It's a really fun event, really fun game. So we're looking forward to it. Any advice from Kelvin? Any advice from Kelvin? Not yet, but I could probably, you know, 
sum it up a little bit. You know, it's not it's nothing new uh, that goes into winning basketball. So uh, he might have to study the Elon in a little bit and give me a little, little feedback on, on what to do, what not to do from uh, his perspective. But, but we'll see.